Hello, welcome to a new Kubio tutorial. In this exercise, we'll try to recreate this design using the Kubio free plan, starting from no template at all. In order to achieve this, we will play with heroes, blocks, rows, columns, dividers, predefined Kubio sections, and more. At the end of the exercise, we'll adjust the design for mobile as well. I'm using the Elevate WP theme together with the Kubio Builder. Now, every theme they use will usually install a front page, a sample page, and a blog page. Let's start a new page. This page has a default header, navigation, and footer. I will remove them all and start from a blank canvas. Let's add a hero block. This will add the theme's default template, but we'll customize it right now. We can change its layout by choosing an option with text on the left and an image on the right. Next, let's make the hero go full width then align the text to the left. Let's paste the text for the H1 and the paragraph below. Next, we need to insert an H3 between the H1 and the paragraph. Let's paste the text here as well. Now, let's add an image to the image block on the right. Don't forget to save your design from time to time. Let's round the corner of the image by adding a radius of 25. We can also add a sense of depth to the image by adding a box shadow to the right. You can play with the spread and blur of the box shadow until you get the shadow you want. As a color, I'm using a shade of purple from the color palette used in the image. Here's a tool that I recommend for identifying color palettes out of images. It's provided by Canva. I'm going to use these colors for dividers and text. Another useful tool that can help you generate palettes is this one. Both resources can be found in the description of the video. You can also use the Chrome Color Pick extension to identify color codes, like I do now. Let's change the text color to purple, and the background to gray. Next, let's delete the default buttons and add a new row block, to which I will add a link and a bun with an icon. Now, let's adjust a bit the column width. We need to set up the content vertical position to center, so that we align the link and the bun. We need to align the elements in the row to the left by using the spacing options. In order to select the elements in the row, you can use the breadcrumbs below. Let's decrease the margins for both the link and the bun and add a small spacing. Now, let's add the texts and make the bun larger. Next, it's time to make some color changes in the normal hover states. As per typography, I'm using a combination of Oxygen and Ubuntu. To discover the proper font pairing, you can play with the FontJoy tool. After saving and comparing our design with the design we need to obtain, there are some fixes we need to make. First, we need to increase the sizes for the text, then to add a slight opacity to the background. Next, the content of the hero is too close to the left and right margins. We'll fix this by adding a padding of 5% for left and right from the spacing option inside Advanced. At the hero level, we shall add a divider at the bottom in a purple shade and a height of 300. 
For the next step we need to add navigation to this page. The navigation got added below the hero, so I'm moving it above it. Next, we need to make it full width, like the hero, and also add the same left and right paddings of 5%. After replacing the logo, we'll need to adjust a bit its height, because it's too large. As for the menu items, we need to be consistent with the overall typography and colors of the site. Now, it's time for our next section, the one with testimonials. You can notice that besides those three columns of testimonials, there's also a column with some text. We can approach this two ways. Either create a route with four columns and add each piece of text to a separate column or combine text blocks with a predefined testimonial content section. I'll go with the second option. We need to create a section with two columns. Let's make it full width. One column will contain the block and the other one will contain the testimonials. Kubio comes packed with such sections so that you can save time and streamline website design. The structure of a page in Kubio is like this. You have sections, inside of sections there are rows, and rows can contain columns. Columns can contain other rows as well, and so on. You can keep nesting rows and columns, and vice versa as long as you want. This means that we need to select the row from the predefined section and drag it to our column on the right. We will use the breadcrumb view for making selection easier. Next, we use the drag option from the toolbar. The column on the left should occupy 25% of the space, while the testimonials should occupy the rest. This means we need to adjust the column width. Next, let's clean a bit our columns to look like the design we selected and paste the text. We need to add a 5% left and right padding to the section to match the hero's padding. And let's not forget the top divider. Let's make the background color white to match the initial design and to color the quotations marks in orange. We're almost done. Let's see how this looks like on mobile. It seems that the hamburger menu is not visible. Let's make it purple. Also, we can diminish a bit the font size for the main headings and center the text. Before calling it a day, you will need to add the proper links here. and you can even make the navigation overlap the hero. Let's compare the designs. Looking good, and you got homework. Make this design look better on tablet. You can send us the end result in the video comments. See you next time.